Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. While I was staying at the Captain Father's Monastery in the Gavin Heights, Earlier this week, 73-year-old Leo Tudela testified in support of Bill 326, a measure to lift the statute of limitations on child sex abuse cases. In his testimony, he gave personal and painful details of at least three incidents where he was molested by members of the church. One of his alleged perpetrators was Father Louis Brouillard. At the time, Tudela was 13 years old and serving as an altar boy at Santa Teresita Church. I looked up and saw Father Louis sitting to my left and told me, it is okay, you will feel good and don't worry about anything. I was shocked and felt very uncomfortable. I was shaking, scared, and started to cry. I was totally, totally embarrassed and ashamed of what Father Louis was doing to me. He was supposed to be a man of God. Father Louis Brilliard is 95 years old today and lives in Minnesota. In a phone interview with KUAM, he admits there were others. Did you molest some boys? Yeah. You did? Do you know how many? No. Did you molest some boys while being a priest on Guam? Yeah. Do you remember a boy named Leo Tudela? No, I don't remember him. Do you remember or have any estimation of how many boys you may have molested while on Guam? Oh, I don't have recollection of the number, no. When asked why he molested young boys, Brilliard only had this to say. Hard to say. Uh, I guess it mostly uh, pleased the boys. Uh, I thought they were happy. I'm sorry and uh, I apologize and I'm doing penance for them right now. I've been w w working at the uh, senior center where they serve Meals on Wheels. I've been working there for 30 years without taking any pay. I work there every day and uh, I'm I take no pay for doing it, for I may do that in reparation for my sins. I'm sorry that it happened, and I should never have allowed myself to, to uh, the opportunity or the time for such things. It happened long ago, and, and uh, time has not healed me. I'm sure that it ever happened. While Brilliard says he's paying for his sins today, the Archdiocese of Aganya continues to cut a check out in his name every month, even after he was removed from the Diocese of Duluth. Do you still receive a paycheck from Guam? Yes. How much? $550 every month. Do you think your penance is enough for the boys to forgive you? No, I don't think so. I can never repay all that I've done. In a press release issued late Thursday afternoon, the Archdiocese of Aganya stated, quote, it is the practice and policy of the Catholic Church to care for its incarnated priests who were retired through pension funds, even if they reside outside the diocese. The Archdiocese of Aganya confirms Father Bulliard receives a monthly pension. In his efforts to learn more about the situation, Archbishop Savio Han Taifai has directed the Archdiocese to write the Bishop of the Diocese of Duluth in Minnesota, where Father Brouillard now resides, end quote. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.